Welcome to another video in the period in the closing playlist. In the last two videos, I explained different functions in the SAP reclassification program. So we have seen together how to reclassify open items based on due dates and also how to reclassify customers with credit balance and vendors with debit balance. In the video today, I will explain the third function in the same program, which is reclassification of wrong reconciliation accounts. Sometimes when we create a customer or a vendor, we assign to the wrong reconciliation account by mistake. So for example, we have a customer that is a domestic customer and we assigned it to the foreign receivables reconciliation account by mistake. It should go to the domestic receivables because it's the domestic customer. But when we created the customer master data, there was a mistake and we assigned it to the foreign receivables account. And then after this, we started posting different documents. So invoices, payments, uh, credit memos, and so on. And at the end of the period, while the accountant was doing the period and the closing, he discovered that he has some open items in the wrong reconciliation account, in the foreign receivables. So how can we correct this? The first step is to correct the root cause of the issue, which is the wrong reconciliation account assigned to the customer. So we go to the customer master data, and we change it and we insert the correct reconciliation account, which is the domestic receivables, which means that any new document that will be posted to this customer will go to the correct reconciliation account. But all the old documents that are already posted cannot be modified. They have been posted to the wrong reconciliation account. So until we close all the old open items, every period we are going to have a balance in our domestic customers which is not correct. It should be in the foreign customers. And for this, every period, we are going to post an adjustment entry that will take the values from the domestic customers and reclassify it into foreign customers. And we have to continue doing this until all the old open items that were posted to the wrong reconciliation account are cleared. And this adjustment can be done automatically using the reclassification program in SAP S4HANA and also in SAP ECC. In the video today, I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end demo for an example with a wrong reconciliation account. So I'm going to show you the customer master data where the reconciliation account is maintained. And then we are going to post some transactions to the wrong reconciliation account. And then we are going to change the reconciliation account, run the adjustment or the reclassification program and look into our balance sheet. Of course, I'm going to look into the balance sheet before we do the reclassification and after we do the reclassification, so this way you can see the impact. The demo today will be on SCEP S4HANA 2023, and as usual, as the rest of the videos in this playlist, I'm going to use SCEP Fury. And now let's start our demo. This is the third demo on the reclassification program, so I'm going to go a little bit faster today. Always remember to watch the playlist in the sequence that I publish, so you have to watch the videos one by one. Now, this is my Fury Launchpad. I'm using SAP S4HANA 2023. I have created a group of tiles that I use for the demo uh, that I called reclassification and regrouping. And I'm going to start by showing you the customer master data so we can see the reconciliation account. Before we start, you can get access to this system that I'm using in the demo. If you would like to get access, you can visit my website, www.garelconsulting.com slash SAP access, and you will be able to subscribe to the server. So you choose whatever package you want, you subscribe, and I'm going to send you the user ID, which allows you to configure anything you want on the system and to test any process you want. Also, if you would like to follow the configuration steps that I created in order to be able to do the demo today. So you can find it in the configuration documents. It is available to the channel members and also to the SAP user subscribers. So you can go to the configuration documents, S4HANA AG from zero configuration. And here you will find all the configuration steps that I did. Also, if you would like to book an appointment with me in order to discuss anything you want, then you can go to the website. So galalconsulting.com slash appointment and you will find my calendar. You can pick the time that suits you to discuss any topic you want. Let's get back to the demo. So I'm going to start by displaying the customer master data. So go to maintain business partner. And I'm going to show you where to maintain the reconciliation account for the customer that we are, going, we are using in the demo today. Until this one opens, let's open another one for the balance sheet. So these are the transactions we are going to use today. So the balance sheet income statement is the one I use to display 
the impact we have on the balance sheet. So we have to do this before the adjustment and after the adjustment to see the impact of what we did. And also, uh, let's now and let's now switch back to the business partner. So for the business partner, the one I'm using today is is 250. So this is the business partner number. So I insert the business partner number here and then click on start. This will display the business partner data. First, you will find that you are in the business partner rule, business partner general. So this is where we, we, we maintain the general data of the business partner. And in order to check the reconciliation account, we have to, to switch to the financial accounting data. For this, we switch to the rule that is AGFI customer. So this is where we maintain the financial accounting data. Once you do this, you are going to find this new tab here, company code. So you click on company code and you can find the details under the company code data because for each company code, we can have a different reconciliation account. I have already explained how to maintain the business partner in another video. I'm going to leave you a link here. So you can also check the business partner video if you are interested to understand more about how business partners work. So here we have our reconciliation account. Now, this customer I have called domestic customer, but as you see, it is assigned to foreign customers. This is a very clean example, of course, in real life, it's more complicated than this. But in short, we have a customer that is assigned to our own reconciliation account. So this is our reconciliation account. We don't know yet that it is wrong. Now I'm going to proceed and post some accounting entries to this customer. To do this, let's go back to home and I'm going to open create outgoing invoices. So in this transaction, we can create customer invoices on the FI site. Now I'm going to post an invoice to this customer and we can see after this the line items that are posted to the customer and then our balance sheet and we do some adjustments. So the customer is 250 and the invoice date I'm going to use 0107-2025. So the demo today will be in July. And the posting date also 0107-2025. Document type I will leave as is. And now I'm going to insert the credit side of the entry. So this will be the bank account 1500. And here, let's say the amount will be 7000 as example. And here we insert the amount again. Enter. So now I'm posting as a customer invoice to our customer for the value of, of 7,000. And I'm going to post this accounting entry. So now the entry has been posted. Let's go and check the customer line items. To check the customer line items or all the postings that happened to the customer, we can go to the tile manage customer line items. And here we insert the customer number 250 and the company code, open items and the open on key date. And we can save all of this as a layout in order to have it selected by default next time. Then as you see, we have in the result, we have only one customer. So if I open the line items here, we have two invoices posted to this customer. So the invoice that we just posted and another one that I posted before. So we have one invoice for 4,000 and another one for 7,000. The total is 11,000. Now, if I check the journal entry, so click here and click on journal entry analyzer. And here we can see we have a debit to the customer and a credit to our local bank account. If I want to see the general ledger accounts behind the customer, I can click on general ledger view here. And now we can see the general ledger accounts. So as you see, we have a debit to the foreign customers and a credit to local bank. So until now, this is what we have in the customer account. So this is okay. Now let's say that at the period end closing, we do our analysis and we discover that this account is wrong and the postings should go to the local customer's account. So the first thing to do, of course, is to correct the master data of the customer. To do this, we go to the maintain business partner tile. We already have it open here. Yes. So we go to the maintain business partner and again, go to the business partner rule for FI customer to the company code data until you find the reconciliation account. Then you can switch to change mode from here if you have the authorization needed, of course. So in your company, maybe there is another team for master data. You have to contact them. But anyway, this is how we are going to do at the end. We are going to modify the reconciliation account. And here we choose another recon account. So either you open the available values here and you select or you can insert it by hand. So here is our domestic customers, one four, one four four zeros. So this is our reconciliation account. Now I'm going to press enter and save this business partner. 
and in my system i allow that the business partner the reconciliation account can be changed we can also switch this to an error message so no one can change the recon account and if it is an error message then there is no way to change the reconciliation account in this case you will be forced to create a new customer so you create a whole new customer and you use the new customer for the new postings but since i have in my system i allow the change of the reconciliation account so i get this as a warning message i can click on yes and then yes again and now i have changed the reconciliation account so now any new documents that we post to this customer will go to this new reconciliation account I'm not saying this is what you should do in your system to change the recon account. Maybe the correct treatment in your system would be to create a whole new customer. So this way you can have an audit track and understand what happened exactly. But if you allow the change of recon account, then you can do as I did right now. And now uh, any new posting will go to this new recon account, but the old postings are still on the wrong reconciliation account. So let's go to our balance sheet. So the balance sheet income statement tile and let's display our balance sheet to see what we have right now so click on go and we are displaying for the period of july 2025 now go to balance sheet i have already explained this tile a lot in the previous videos that's why i'm going faster this time so our receivables is under assets current assets receivables and here i have domestic and foreign receivables if we check domestic receivables we have this amount and under foreign receivables we have 11,000. So this is our 11,000 that's posted to our customer. And now the idea is this is wrong and it should be under the domestic customers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the reclassification program. I have already configured it to uh, pick the accounts automatically and I have configured the financial statement version to have the accounts in the right place. So what I'm going to do now is go to the reclassification program. So go to home. Our reclassification program is the style, regroup receivables payables. So open it in a new tab. And I'm just going to close all these other tabs because we don't need them anymore. And here we have our reclassification program. So get variant. I already have a variant that I use in my demo. So this is the variant I'm using today. I'm going to modify it a little. But as you see, so here we have the balance sheet key date. I'm going to change this to July. So 31st, 07, 2025, so end of July. We have the sorting method, the valuation area. So these are things that I configured. You can see all the details in the configuration document. And here I have generate postings. I'm not going to select it because I only want to see a report. I don't want to post anything for now. And so on, you already know this, this screen from the last video. And then go to selections. Here I have customers and I'm going to select only my customer. So 250. And this is it for the selection screen. Now I will go to the parameters tab. And here we have to choose change it recon account and then click on execute. Now we have the two line items here. And if we go to postings, so you see the two line items that we had for the customer and the total is 11,000. If I go to postings, we can see the adjustment posting that will happen. Now you see here we have four accounting entries, two accounting entries of adjustment and two accounting entries of reversal. Now, it's not, these are not only for the recon accounts. We have also for the, yes, for the short term and long term recla uh, reclassification. Remember, because we configure our system to reclassify the open items based on due date. So the first two entries are for the reclassification based on due date. And the second line items, the two second, doc the second, doc the third and fourth document here, these are for the change in recon account. So we have one document for the change in recon account at the end of mo the month, at the end of July, and the reversal in the beginning of August. So the, as you see here in the text, you can easily see why this is happening because we have change in recon account, old is 14,002, and the new is 140,000. So this is our adjustment because we changed the reconciliation account, and this is what we were looking for. Now I'm going to exit this report and I am going to post the transaction. So let's go back and click on generate postings. This will generate our batch input session and then execute. So now SAP has created a batch input session for the reclassification program. To run this batch input session, we can go to menu, system, services, batch input sessions. And as I explained in the last two videos, 
until now nothing has been posted we have to run the batch input session otherwise that run, nothing has been posted so the update has not been done so now I'll select this and I'm going to process the session and here we have three options so either foreground errors only background again I explained this in the previous videos so I'm going to run in display errors only and now the session has been done so I can go to session overview and we can see that it's done I'm going to leave this window open so this is the balance sheet before we do the adjustment and I'm going to open a new balance sheet now so let's close this so now we have our balance sheet before here and this is our balance sheet after we are running the balance sheet for July 2025 click on go go to balance sheet assets current assets and here we have receivables, domestic and foreign receivables. So you see now if you look here and the balance, you see foreign receivables has a balance of zero. This is what we wanted. So now we have reclassified the 11,000 from foreign receivables into domestic receivables. If you go into the details, you can find that we have the, recon, the reconciliation account reclass. So this is the account that I configured to be used for the reclassification. And we have the original foreign customers account. So here we have our 11,000. No one can touch this. As I explained, all our adjustments or reclassifications are done to reclassification GL accounts without having any impact on the original accounts because we cannot impact these accounts unless we have a real account, a real posting to the customer. So this amount will be cleared with time when we actually clear the open item. So you see the, we had two invoices that were posted to this wrong account. Now when the customer pays these two invoices and we do the clearing, these two invoices will be cleared and we will no longer have balance in the foreign customers. But until we clear them, we have to do this adjustment. And then so we have here the Recon Account Reclass. It has taken the amount as credit, 11,000. And this amount has been posted under domestic receivables. As you see, we have Recon Account Reclass 1 for 11,000. So this is our debit and this is our credit. So when we configure, we configure two accounts. One account will be debit and the other will be credit for each Recon account. And this is our configuration. So now you see the impact, the final impact on the balance sheet. This is correct now. So we have the correct representation in our balance sheet. And this is exactly what we needed. I hope you found the demo today easy to follow and understand. As usual, do not hesitate to leave me your comments, your questions. If you would like me to explain something again, or if you want me to explain some other topics related to the reclassification program, let me know. Also, let me know what else I should add to the period in the closing playlist. If you would like to test the process yourself, then you can subscribe to the SCEP server access. So this way you can configure whatever you want and you can also use my configuration. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your connections, please. Also join the channel membership program if you would like to get access to the member exclusive documents, videos and our private Slack channel. And if you would like to book a private appointment with me to discuss any topic you want, then you can go to my website www.galalacademy.com slash appointment and you can find my calendar and book the time that suits you. This is it for the video for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.